Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to create 3D logo with 2D shape layers in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. First one, let's select this Adidas logo and let's move to inside our composition. And let's create new background, right mouse, new and solid layer. Let's add the name background and color. Let's select this white, click OK, again click OK. And move to behind image layer. OK. And change color to full. For example, I will use these shape layers. So let's lock image layer and go to pen tool. OK. And let's first, let's create this one point here and here like this okay nice and color i will use this yellow like this click ok so let's add the name one then let's create next shape layer go to pen tool and let's make like this Okay, nice. Click session tool and change name layer two. And finally, let's create last shape layer. Go to pen tool. Again, make lines like this. Okay, so let's click session tool and change name three. And let's delete this Adidas logo. And for 3D shape layers, right mouse, go to composition settings, go to 3D render, and change render cinema 4D, not classic 3D. Only cinema 4D for 3D shape layers. And click OK. Then select shape layers and click this cube for 3D layers. OK. And let's open layer 1. Let's open inside and open geometry options and let's change extrusion deep let's go to active camera and change to top change extrusion deep 200 nice and let's close open shape layer 2 and geometry options change extrusion deep 200 again let's close and finally open shape layer 3 Open geometry options and change extrusion deep again 200. Let's close and go to top change active camera. Okay, so select the shape layer 1 and let's create shadows for this part. Let's go to stroke, click this stroke and select this solid color, click OK and go to stroke color again. Select this eyedropper, select this yellow color. Let's change to dark yellow. Click OK. And change stroke width 1. OK, very nice. And let's try change shadow like this. OK. So, select this layer 2. Again, change stroke width 1. And open color. Select eyedropper, select this yellow shadow color. Click OK. And now we can see these shadows. If I change this custom with 1, I can show here shadows. Okay, let's change active camera and select this layer 3. Change stroke with 1. Open color and select this yellow. Click OK. Nice. So, and now let's make shape frames for simple animation. Select this layer 1, 2, 3 and go to here. Let's press P and make new passing shape frame. Go to first second and let's move the back like this. Okay, nice. Let's see. Okay, let's change quality quarter. Okay, so let's select the shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor. 
select this graph and let's make graph like this okay not bad so back to chain frames with graph editor icon and in this time let's make rotation chain frames let's press r and make x y and z rotation for all layers and go to here let's try change these rotations like this okay and let's try change this this is random rotations you can make your chain frames how to like you okay and change okay let's see so let's select these all chain frames make easy go to graph editor and select these graphs let's make graph like this back to chain frames and select these chain frames let's move to left and see animation okay let's select last chain frames move to right and this move to left Okay, so let's select chain frames, move to right, and go to first. Let's move to right again. Go to first rotation chain frames, and let's try change again more rotations. And this. And this. Okay, select chain frames again. Let's move to left for C animation. Let's move to right. Okay, this is not bad. Let's select chain frames. Go to graph editor and let's select these graphs. Move to right. Okay, that's good. So back to chain frames and let's close chain frames and let's create text layer. Go to text icon and let's write here motion. Click OK. Move to here and let's right mouse. Go to create and create shapes from text. Select this text layer and delete. Select this motion outlines and click for 3D layer and for move to anchor point center hold control double click palm behind icon okay click station tool and let's open inside geometry options change extrusion deep 200 nice and select this motion text go to stroke change stroke with one and open color let's select this eyedrop Select this shadow color, click OK. Let's see. Okay. So, let's select this motion outlines and press P. Let's make new passing shape frame. And let's go to solo. Move to here. And let's move to back like this. Select shape frames. Make easy. Go to graph editor. Select this graph. And let's make graph like this. Okay, not bad. Let's select this shape frame, move to left, and select last shape frame, move to right for slow animation. Okay, let's try to change these shape frames like this for realistic animation. So back to shape frames, and in this time, hold shift, press air, open rotation, go to here make x y and z rotation go to here and let's try to change rotation like this and like this okay select so frames make easy let's try to change rotation like this
Select keyframes, move to the left. Let's see animation. Okay, not bad. Select keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make graph like this. Okay, that's good. And let's open extrusion deep. Change 100. So let's unsolo and select this text layer. Let's move to right. And in this time, select this layer 2. Let's move to right and layer 3. Move to right. Text layer. Move to left. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's try and move to right these layers. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.